Well, that is the first tee shot of the day with another set of irons from a company which I had never tested until literally 24 hours ago. And I've got to say, what I've seen so far, I'm super impressed. Will this be another one that I add to the list? Well, that company is in fact Zexio, and over the last few days, I've been trying quite a number of their products, and this is another iron that we're gonna put through the test at Quinta de Marina. I am out here courtesy of Glencore Golf, plenty of time to see this course over the next few days but for now we're going to put these irons to the test and if they live up to the other products I've tested so far it could be an interesting ride. Well that's a nine iron out of interest and uh, that's really good well, it's a decent shot to be to start with but really good control because it was effectively half a nine iron and what i mean by that is it's uh, well wasn't a full shot and the ability to play a game improvement iron with quite a bit of mass to be fair but then still have a little bit of a control element is key for me in what the big change has been in game improvement irons full stop to be honest with you but zexio have done it particularly well well like i said game improvement iron but lots of playability still and even with a little half shot and this super lightweight shaft that you would think there might be a few issues in terms of torque there isn't and it's been super impressive again with a short iron in hand now the thing i'm really liking about the zexio product lines in general that i've reviewed so far on the channel and i'm not too sure which way in these have come out in terms of the video releases is that each of them has a concept built into it that is very different than other things that i've tried so it's uh, maybe that's a new marketing story i do not know but it's nice to see a concept like i said that so far has bore out in terms of performance as well the interesting bit for me in these xeo 12 irons is that it's a titanium face which suggests that's going to be super hot off it uh, it's also a strongly lofted set of irons the seven iron as the barometer as ever is 28 degrees so yes yeah, super strong titanium face perhaps super super fast this is all about performance a set of irons that is intended to assist a certain type of golfer and that also lends itself to the profile of these irons right the shot you're about to see me hit is with a nine iron and uh, what you'll see is that the kind of launch again defies that strength of loft this thing has gone super high very much as it's intended and i say intended because this is without doubt for me a game improvement i will put it into that category and that's based on the sort of looks visually we've got that thick top line we've got a fairly super wide sole and a very deep cavity with that titanium face that i've already mentioned i would suggest that it's uh, very fast off the face a couple of shots you'll see me hit here are going a fair old way the question is can we sort of can a sort of middle of the road player in terms of handicap let's say get the benefit out of this cat type of iron or is it just specifically aimed at that player that really does need some help and the level of assistance that this type of club is intended to give today's video comes to you in association with long-term channel travel partner glencore golf holidays and we're at quinta de marina in cascai portugal the hotel and golf course have been a superb place to play and stay in the portuguese sunshine and the proximity to lisbon airport and nearby cascai make it the perfect european golf destination so if you like what you see in today's video then make sure you click on the link in the video description below or head on over to glencoregolf.com for more booking information that's not gonna be far off you know could even go in if it rolls out the thing i wanted to try and i'll play a few different shots in and around the greens from sort of shorter distances just how much sort of control can we get over the shorter irons and that shorter iron unfortunately is only a nine iron that i've got in terms of the test but that for me is an indicator again of sort of playability and are we really giving up a lot of that in terms of this kind of size and profile again yeah, so on that sort of feel element with the shorter iron and the bulkier shorter iron you'll see three shots played from exactly the same position at the front of the green and uh, you could argue poor execution but what i would normally hope i could do is learn by 
the, what happened with the first shot and make an adjustment but even by shot three I was still struggling so there's a little bit of finesse that you would obviously forfeit in my opinion with this type of club or like I said you can just blame the user I'll leave you to make your own mind up we've got a similar situation though nine iron three quarter swing sort of downhill can I control this one in that's what I would really like to see Well, first of all, really like the, the pick-up sit-down ball. Well, it's actually a little bit short, but again, that was judgment and execution by me rather than the performance of the club. The interesting bit for me so far, which I've not even spoke about yet, is the way these clubs feel. It is, like I said, a fairly large cavity back, but still got some nice feel out of it as well, which probably came as a bit of a surprise. Now this stage of the video, I'd like some feedback from you and that's about Zexio as a brand. I've had to practice saying that and even had to look up how you pronounce it. And what I want to know is this, first time I've tried these, uh, this product line full stop. And um, what I want to know is, have you tried it? How accessible is this lineup? Because as good as these reviews are and as impressed as I might be, and I've got to say the other two products we've looked at so far, I would say super impressed. Uh, the problem is how accessible is it so let me know in your region in your country where you come from how accessible is Zexio and if you've tried it let me know what you think of it now we can't go any further in this review without talking about the shaft because the whole principle of what Zexio do in my opinion is not about just what the head does in terms of performance but very much what the shaft does Everything I've seen in the main has come with a lightweight graphite shaft and this is no different. It is in fact 47 gram, it's reg flex and again it's got this counterbalance weighting system. Very briefly what that is is a weight placed in the butt end of the club. What it's supposed to do is aid in the transition from the top of the backswing into the impact position and help us square that club face up at address. Now, I say it in the first video with a fair deal of skepticism. I'm now three videos in, in other words, third product I've reviewed from the range, and I've got to say that I am buying into it. I don't know whether I'm buying into it from a concept that has tricked my mind into slowing down, easing my tempo, and using that counterbalance idea, but I've certainly found there's almost a pause at the top of the swing, or that's what it feels like. I've swung a lot slower. I've found the shafts to be incredibly stable, even though very light in their weight. And either way, it's a concept that you've got to try and give a go because ultimately it is very, very different. And the whole point in paying the premium that you're gonna do if you go for these irons is all about that shaft head combination. Just carry a little bit more ball. I think we've got it just left of the flag. Well, it's just about the right distance, maybe got that a little bit heavy, but then again, uh, maybe that wide sole helped me out a bit. So this counterbalance shaft idea, is it purely just something in the head or has it improved my tempo? And I think maybe a mix of the two, but either way, every shot that I've played so far in the three videos that I've filmed, I've watched back and sort of suggest that it helps with tempo. So does it matter whether the actual butt weight works or is it more of a case of if it works in the head it doesn't really matter that was interesting really i mean well i want to talk about the ball speed i suppose and how hot this face is that titanium face is without doubt firing the ball out there with not a great deal of effort and i think that's exactly what these irons are supposed to be doing that lightweight shaft strong lofted faces titanium face is all about helping the golfer get his ball around the golf course that with the assistance of that wide sole which means cg can go back and we can start getting the ball airborne as well means that it's a very very playable iron for the masses who are looking for that kind of help there's no doubt about that i'm not sure whether that will hold on well it's not a period oh there it is hold 
These greens are so quick today at Kinta de Marina and uh, we'll finish it there with a thank you to them first of all for hosting us along with Glencore Golf. It's been a great few days so far and plenty more to come from this resort in the next few days showing you around the place. What do I think of these Exio 12 irons? Well, they're for me very much aimed at a certain type of golfer. That golfer isn't me and um, I don't want that extra bulk and mass. I'm not sure I really want the titanium face. And But overall, it's that profile thing that is just too big for me. But I don't do these reviews based on my opinion in terms of what I like. I look at it in terms of the masses and do I think they will help a certain type of golfer. And they're absolutely yes, they're, they're super quick off the face. They're gonna help you in terms of ball speed. If you're losing a little bit of ball speed and club head speed, then this could be the exact thing that you are after. And I certainly wouldn't dismiss that idea about this counterbalance shaft either, and that lightweight shaft again. So it all gears itself towards a certain type of golfer who's maybe wanting a little bit of help. And that help is in abundance in these irons. So if that's the kind of thing you're after it that if that's where you're at with your game then without doubt you need to give these zexio irons a try right that's me done a uh, another video filmed here at kinta de marina which is absolutely stunning the weather's lovely over in portugal thank you to glencore golf for getting us this little trip organized and out here and uh, i will be sharing a lot more from here in the coming days right for now thanks for watching i'll see you tomorrow night